Happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge. We should simplify this expression. We have square root of square root of 9 minus square root of 8. How are we going to do this? In this video I'm going to fully explain you how we're going to do this correctly and step by step. First of all let's rewrite our challenge right here. So we have our, our challenge. We have square root of 9 minus square root of 8. Okay, here's our challenge. And square root of 9 is uh, 3 equal to 3. Okay, we know about it. So let's do th this as first step. So let's write the square root of 9 as, as 3. So we have 3 minus square root of 8. Okay, nothing hard. We just express this 9 as, uh, as 3. Okay, uh, right here, square root of 8, we can write it as 2 times 4. Okay, so let's do this. So we have equal to square root of we have 3 minus, and let's write the square root of 8 as square root of 2 times 4. Okay, we can do this, nothing changed for us, we, we just write this 8 as 2 times 4. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's look at this uh, multiplication inside this square root sign. We should know a rule if we have square root of a times b, we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. So in this case, square root of 2 times square root of 4, okay? So we have square root of 3 minus square root of 2 times square root of 4, which is equal to 2 square root of, of 2. Okay, so this is our, our second step. What we're going to do next? We should create a square inside this square root sign. Okay, so parentheses and square. Then we can cancel our square root and this square. So let's do this. First of all, let's write this 3 as 2 plus 1. Okay, so we have square root of, let's write this 3 as 2 plus 1. So we have 2 plus 1 and minus 2 square root of 2. It changed nothing for us, but if you look closely, it's really great situation right here, because let's write this product, as let's multiply this product by square root of 1, okay? So let's multiply this product by square root of 1. It changed nothing for us, but if we write this 2 as square root of 2 square, so if we write this 2 as square root of 2 square, it changed nothing because this is the same 2. If we write this 1 as square root of 1 square, Okay? And secondly, if we remember a formula, a minus b square, so let, right here let's look at this formula, so a minus b square, which is equal to a square, a square plus b square and minus 2ab, minus 2ab, okay? So this is our really important formula in this case, let's look at it, yeah, this is our really important formula. And on this side, on the bottom, let's write this expression. So square root of 2 square, okay, so we have square root of 2 square. Then we add to this expression square root of 1 squared, okay, so plus square root of 1 squared and minus 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 1, 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 1. Okay, this is absolutely the same expression as I told before, but we just write these 2 and 1 as square root of 2 square and square root of 1 square. And let's look closely, our formula and our expression, our exactly expression. So we have, for example, this is our a and this is our, our b, okay? So we have a square, yeah, we have it. What about b? We have b square, yeah? And if you look closely, we have a right here and we have b right here and we have two so we, this is exactly the same case as right here our general formula so we can write this one okay let's do this right here so which is equal to let's write the whole square inside the square root sign so we have square root of two square plus square root of one square and minus two square root of two times square root of square root of one equal to Okay, as I told before, this is our formula a minus b square, where a is square root of 2, b is 1, or square root of 1, this is 1, doesn't matter how we write it. So we have square root of, square root of, inside parentheses, we have square root of 2 minus 1, or square root of 1, doesn't matter. Okay, right here we have a really great expression, we have, we can easily cancel our square root sign, and we can easily cancel our our square right here, okay? And moreover, a lot of students forget about this, but we should put absolute value, absolute value of square root of 2 minus 1, okay? Square root of 2 minus minus 1. A lot of students forget about it, a lot of students don't know how can we solve this challenge, but we should put absolute value. In this case, exactly in this case, we, we need this absolute value, but it changed nothing for us, because inside these brackets, inside this absolute value bracket, square root of 2 is greater than 1, so that means that right here this is positive, uh, positive absolute value, so we can easily open our parentheses with the positive sign. For example, we have right here square root of 2 minus 1, but imagine, for example, I write it right here, if we have 
know, if we have absolute value 1 minus square root of 2, this absolute value will have negative sign, okay? So then 1 is less than square root of 2, and then we should put minus right here, okay? Just remember this, this is really important, important case. In our moment, we don't have, uh, like, um, a negative value inside, inside this absolute value brackets, so we should put plus right here behind these absolute value brackets. So let's write our answer, square root of 2 minus 1. Answer, square root of 2 minus 1. Thank you for your time, have a great day also, thank you for your support and see you in the next videos.